These were the scenes on number one court last night when an unhappy John McEnroe and the other three players were forced to abandon the doubles final at 13-all final set on the orders of the tournament referee Alan Mills. And what a change in the scene today. Absolutely marvellous. Huge crowd, wonderful weather, and all ready for the final act in this magnificent doubles final. Everybody's here. And John McEnroe and Michael Stish, unseeded in this tournament. If they win, John McEnroe will have won five doubles titles. Ladies and gentlemen, the score stands 13 games all final set. Renneberg to set. And it's Richie Renneberg, who yesterday was as cool as a cucumber and highly efficient, 13 all. Jim Grab, six foot four. McEnroe yesterday was given a torrid time by the Renneberg serve. First extended rally, and uh, that ball almost too short for Grab to get there and get a real piece of it. Just getting it back, but McEnroe not quick enough to cover the ball into the open court. 40 15. Good play. <laughs> Grab Renneberg lead, 14 games to 13. Final set. Just a brief resume of the uh, four sets played. First set to Grab and Renneberg, 7 5, with a break of the McEnroe serve at the end. The second set going to McEnroe and Stish, 7 6. Tight tie break that, 7 5 in the tie break. Third set, 6, to uh, six 3 to Grab and Renneberg. After that set, they had played for two hours, a break of the McEnroe serve. And the fourth set, Grab and McEnroe coming back strongly, another 7 5 ending to a tie-break, and now we have 14-13. And it will be John McEnroe to serve. Time. And this, interestingly, the two sets they've won have been in tie-breakers. So that is not a possibility in this fifth set, although it was discussed by all four players as a play yesterday. And Michael Stush at the net has been incredibly effective in this match with stop volleys and lovely little dinked volleys cross court. McEnroe disturbed by the crowd to his left.
30 love. How many times in that illustrious career has McEnroe served that identical serve into the left court, swinging miles away? This man has been so dangerous. He has served so well, and he has managed to return that difficult McEnroe serve right down to the feet. McEnroe, 40-15. Fourteen games all. Fourteen games all. Both the first two services held a fifteen. Nerves are steady. Now, I just wonder, serving into the sun, Jim Grab. A past holder of the French doubles title with McEnroe's brother. And also the Masters title with Patrick McEnroe. Now to Well, you cannot believe they're staying in the point. And this has been the attitude of Richie Renneberg for all five sets, just never saying die. 15 all. Can you believe he covered that? And stick a little shaky on the overhead as a result. 15 all. What a beautiful return of uh, serve by McEnroe also. He's done that off backhand return of serve cross court so well that would have been perfect, but for the neck cord. the signals from the 
serve as partner, indicating his intentions. James Rand Hillebrand. Brad Renneberg lead, 15 games to 14, final set. And so three of the players, John's nerves will be calmed a bit now. One to go. And I guess in general you may well think that Michael Stick would be most certain of winning serve, although he was down two match points on serve in this fifth set. And on the first one came up with a beautiful first serve that wasn't returned. On the second one came in with an equally impressive second serve, just inches inside the line. Interestingly, last night when uh, the players were being told it was too dark to continue, three out of four of them were quite willing to play a tiebreaker. This was not uh, satisfactory to Alan Mills and uh, or Jim Brown. Time. It's Michael Stick serving. Having 14 games to 15 in the fifth set. And that's casual. Didn't really bend his knees to get down to that. I think you'll get a little minor rocket from John McEnroe there. point to serve straight at the body of Jim Grab. Tom McEnroe moving towards the centre to take that ball closer to the net than his partner could have. 15 games all, Richie Renneberg serving. Well, that's why. Love 15. First real indication of a little tension there. The ball smitten at him terrifically hard by Stich. Fifteen. That was a brilliant serve. It was swinging. McEnroe had elected to play it on the forehand early, I think. Well, it's the fourth shot of the rally where Michael Stish is falling down. He's returning brilliantly, and then the next ground stroke 
is usually into the net. John McEnroe realised he uh, missed an opportunity there after such a fine return by Michael Stick. And we certainly have a pattern here because every game that we have played today in this men's doubles has been held by the server to 15. Well, I've had uh, 31 games in this fifth set without a break. Two sets going to tiebreakers. And so I'm a little bit surprised that uh, the pairs aren't trying to do something different. Maybe both staying back well behind the baseline and lobbing for a few games, um, being a little bit more adventuresome with interceptions. John McEnroe really just playing very orthodox then on that 15-all point. Stick had made a good return. The volley was well within reach had he been moving across. <laughs> just haven't uh, tried to vary their tactics at all, either pair. They've just been satisfied to play orthodox doubles achieve achieved the most orthodox results in the last five games. Only one point in each game going against the server. McEnroe serving, 15 games to 16. Stish, the team, always serving the one game behind. They have the major problem. A dropped game for them is sudden death. Fifteen all. Well, he had a stumble, and then he didn't get himself adjusted. Look at the quick uh, court speed of Renneberg, who'd gone the wrong way. And that just totally lacking power, not coming off the centre of the racket. McEnroe was asked to generate the pace. He found it difficult. 15 all. And this time both receivers back. Jim Grab very concerned about the call on first serve, but Jerry Armstrong confirming that the ball was in. experience of the man. He's so tennis wise he knows when a first serve is a really important high proportion going in so far. And the most wonderful volley from John McEnroe under severe pressure. Both teams have a lot to talk about here. Tactically, this match can be won and lost by just uh, making the right decisions. It's really no longer a tennis match. This. It's a battle of wills and tactics and skill under pressure and nerve. Here goes Jim Grab, 16 all, final set. Thank you. Oh. 
Pettino. For this, he wasn't in very close to the net. It was not a difficult volley for Jim Grab. Had a lot of tension in that right arm. 15 all. Shows a different type of return then, the chipped return with slice. And it didn't work at all. And it is just uncanny, John, the way this pattern is going on. Every game has been held to 15. Yes, it's uh, quite an extraordinary thing. The ease with which the players are winning their serve could be partially attributed to the court that uh, has had a lot of wear and uh, rather uneven in the service box areas where the uh, traffic has been heaviest ball uh, coming through very fast and deviating slightly which makes it very hard to make returns of serve consistently. Michael Stick really uh, showing his inexperience in doubles. He's uh, returning and uh, not moving at all. He's just staying there as a target. Oh. And when confronted with his next shot just taking a lash at it. It's very hard to Big two pairs well positioned, two people well positioned at the net. There's the lucky mascots. I wonder who they're cheering for. Michael Stick serving. Love the thing. Grab and Renneberg both staying back for the stiff serve. Change of tactics there. Oh, well, what a saving lot volley that was. Well, this is the first real chance for the receiving pair. And look at that ball skid through. McEnroe had to do everything just to get it back. It's a fine angled volley, but Grab had moved in too quick, left the lob exposed. And Renneberg missing that just out of frustration. Out of not already having won the point. 15 all. Yes, right play with Ralph Crawford. Thirty fifteen. Renabert going for broke then has in fact broken a string. Some players do not mind at all coming out with a different racket, others do. I wonder which category he's in. Oh. 
40, 30. And the pattern has been broken. Stish now at 40, 30. Seventeen games all. Some tournaments, some grand slams have a tie break final Please set. Please. Not Wimbledon. Jerry Armstrong with the unwise to rule when it's so far away from the umpire. The ball did appear to hit the line. It's very hard to tell from that camera angle. And McEnroe had the point made. 15 love. <laughs> 13 love. This is a good and heavy serve. It's not blinding pace, but it's well directed. fault from any of the four players today that is yeah. and look where stick is coming from from just inside the baseline only taking that ball from slightly inside the service line but still affecting the winner a 30 all, first real pressure for Richie Renneberg, serving to Michael Stick. Second shot for Stick, he went for the lob. Yes, he failed so often, John, hadn't he, on that fourth stroke of the rally. Very wise. They were playing so well for each other. This is break point. Extraordinary. We often thought uh, during this match that it would take a little bit of luck. But who would have thought that it would be a forehand that came right off the frame of the racket, turned into a lob, and going for the most perfect topspin lob winner for John McEnroe. He has laboured lo long and hard during the past two weeks, and now one day. And so most likely, if anybody has deserved a little bit of luck, it is John. So interestingly, what actually brought the break was two logs. The log from Michael Stick at 30 all, and then the miss hit log from John McEnroe. So almost fittingly it is John McEnroe to serve for the championship. Time. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Bye.
love the thing. Possibly just a little over anxious here for the American veteran. Both players snapping at that ball in the centre, but I think it was Stick's racket who put it into the net. Bar 15. It's been almost a personal war between McEnroe and Renneberg on serve and return of serve. Turn from Richard Renneberg. That was Grab who had the courage to go across and force the play. 30 all. And serious discussion now between John McEnroe and Michael Stick as to where the first serve is going to go. Whether Stick will intercept or fake. Exactly five hours they've played. think this next point means as much to Matano as any other point he's played in that long, illustrious, turbulent career. Sean Tatum Sergi Palmieri Alan Mills offering congratulations is in the direction of wife Tatum and son Sean. You know, Michael Stish asked McEnroe to play in this Wimbledon with him, the wisest move he's ever made. So the chairman of the All England Club, John Curry, accompanied there by the chief executive, Chris Gorringe. What a busy fortnight they've had.
Ricky Renneberg, who played a marvellous match, well supported by Jim Brad. Those silver salvers they get to keep. And they have really earned them in this final. I would really think this is one of the proudest moments of John McEnroe's career. And you know, this has been the longest men's doubles final ever by one minute. John McEnroe joins John Newcomb as a five-time winner of the gentlemen's doubles. Longest doubles final ever, 70 games. Newcomb Roach beat Rosewall Stolly back in 1968. And that took three hours. Well, this one took one minute over five hours and was 83 games. After this experience, I don't think there is any doubt that Mac will be back. So it was a fantastic victory for the unseeded and scratch partnership of John McEnroe and Michael Spish.